Hey guys, Mike from Conquer Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be covering how to calculate the delta G not of a reaction or the change in the standard Gibbs free energy of a reaction by using Gibbs free energy of formation. So to do, to do that, you just use delta G of the reaction equals the sum of delta G formation of products minus the sum of delta G formation of reactants. The delta G formation values, the, these can be found, these typically will have to be given to you and they can be found in either the back of your book or you would have to look online to, to find them. You just have to search up uh, delta G formation values. Another key concept to remember is that the delta G formation value of any elements in the standard state will be zero kilojoules per mole, just like it is with the delta H formation of any element in the standard state. All right, now let's take a look at an example about how we would calculate the delta G of the reactions. So we have to calculate the delta G of this reaction right here, and we're given the delta G formation of the reactants and products. So then we just plug into the equation delta G of the reaction. By the way, that little circle right here, that just means standard condition, equals the sum of the delta G formation of products minus the sum, that's, this one just means sigma, which means sum, delta G formation of reactants. Now just plug numbers in. So the product side, we have one CO2 and two H2O. So it'll be the value of CO2, which is 394.4 plus two, because we have two H2O's so value of H2O, which is negative 228.57. And then subtract the values of the reactants. We have one CH4, so it'll be 50.8. And then we have two H2O's, or two O2, so it'll be two times the value O2. And the value of O2 is not given here, and that's because O2 gas is an element in this natural or standard state, so its value will just be zero kilojoules per mole. Now we can plug that into the calculator. 394.4 plus two times negative 228.57 minus 50.8, and then we'll get negative 113.5 and the units will be kilojoules per mole. And that's how you calculate the delta G of a reaction by using um, the Gibbs uh, formation. Just do products minus reactants, um, just look up the values of all the reactants products and if there's an element that's missing then just check if that's the elements in a standard state because if it is then it'll just be zero kilojoules per mole. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry. If you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.